For the latest from Russia, we crossed our correspondent in Moscow, Dasha Chernyshova. Dasha, good afternoon. Thank you for your time with us. Perhaps you could give us uh, an indication as to the latest emerging. Uh, we, we're trying to understand the clarity on the fate of Prigozhin at this point and, and really how this is in relation to the uh, Lukashenko deal and uh, his move to Belarus. Well, that certainly remains to be seen and some clarity is certainly needed because as we have heard from the president of Belarus, uh, Evgeny Prigozhin, who was supposed to go to Belarus as part of the deal that was negotiated by Lukashenko between the Kremlin and the Wagner Group, he was in Russia and there has been no clarity as to where exactly in Russia he was because as we understand, uh, Prigozhin is a free man in the words of Alexander Lukashenko and all charges have been dropped against him. So it's definitely unclear whether he is at the moment and what sort of relations he has with the Russian government. But at the same time, given the lack of comments from the Kremlin suggesting that the Kremlin is not following the location of Yevgeny Prigozhin, it has neither the desire nor the capacity to do so, we also understand that the Kremlin is not worried with regards to the location of Yevgeny Prigozhin in Russia. Dasha, thank you for that for that um, update. Perhaps we could try and understand what the silence from the uh, Kremlin at this point indicates, um, what the current situation is on the ground in Russia. And, and really, you know, should Belarusian President um, Lukashenko also be worried that the Wagner Group could rebel against him? Well, as we have heard from, again, from Alexander Lukashenko, he suggests that there is nothing to be worried about with regards to the presence of the Wagner Group on the territory of Belarus. He suggested that, in fact, Belarus could actually benefit from the Wagner Group's expertise. He was saying that there are conditions that have been put in place for the Wagner Group to be located in Belarus. And one of those is that uh, should there be any external threat to Belarus, then the Wagner Group should be one of those who will be defending Belarus against all those external threats. But at the same time, very interestingly, some of the comments coming from the Belarusian officials also suggest that the Wagner fighters have never visited the military compounds that have been provided to them or uh, suggested by the, by the Belarusian president to be used. So they were never seen there. Alexander Lukashenko suggested that the Wagner fighters were still in their permanent camps as they have been described by Lukashenko, that is in the Lugansk People's Republic, where they have been ever since they have been pulled out from the operation in Bakhmut after it has been completely. So again, for Belarus, the president of Belarus has suggested there is no threat from the presence of the Wagner fighters in there. But at the same time, we also understand that the relations between Minsk and Moscow after the uh, negotiations between that have been brokered by Alexander Lukashenko have grown even tighter. That's again, as per the comments that we have received from Lukashenko.